rainy day, nothing's better than a hot meal when you're on the go. So, I've done a video on this before, but we're going to do it again. we got some nice Mo Onos, Redondos, made in Hawaii, Portuguese sausages. And we're going to cook them on the engine. So with the engine, virtually any engine, this is a minivan, you got different heat zones. The top right here, the intake manifold, I can feel, I can keep my hand there. That's not going to get very warm, that's just going to warm stuff up. Um, if you can access the top of the radiator, this one's kind of hard, I can't really. It'll get a little bit warmer, get up to about 200, 250. This is the exhaust manifold, and wraps around over here, and that'll get even hotter. So you really want to cook stuff. You know, say you want to cook chicken or something else like that, you can just jam it down in there. But what we're going to do is we're just going to take these things and make a pouch for them out of tin foil. So really all you need is food and tin foil. We'll just pack them in here. Oh, they smell good. I'm going to make two pouches just to give it better surface area. And the tin foil does a couple different things. First, it protects it from the engine. The second, it actually helps distribute the heat. So, um, here on top of the uh, valve cover, it's actually a lot hotter. It'll probably actually get up to 400 degrees or 300 degrees or so. But I can't really squeeze it in on this engine. I could probably I could tuck it right here against the spark plug wires and over. And those would cook actually pretty fast. Um, maybe we want them fast. So maybe I'll put some down there. Put some others uh, more on the muffler. Yeah, we'll jam them over here on the muffler. Get them hot. There we go. Transmission fluid dipstick. That'll hold them in. There we go. Those will cook fast. These will cook pretty fast. We'll take a little extra. And help just wedge that in there. Yeah, those are going to be good. So, drive a little bit. Let's try them out. Now we come over here. I've been driving for about 15 minutes or so. I don't know if you can hear that, but they're sizzling away. So let's flip them and rearrange them just a little bit. We're going to take the ones that were sitting on the muffler versus the one that's sitting on the valve covers. Ah, a little cool. Warm. So I'm going to flop them around. The best part about an amazing view is... Grilled food. You can hear it sizzling. I'm gonna move it around again. Oh yeah. Uh oh, hot dog's sticking out a little bit. That's okay. Uh, that'll add flavor. Maybe open the oil a little bit, steam out a little bit on it. Just kidding. But there we go. Got my bun ready. Let's hop in here, see what we got. Oh, I hear him sizzling away. So, the idea is you rest your bun right on the engine, and we'll pull out, we'll pull out one of these right here, one of the ones right off the muffler. Hey, look at that little burn mark, we're grilling. Look at that. Ooh, that's nice and hot. Beautiful. And then you got to put the V6, because this was cooked through a V6, so you got to put the V6 symbol on it. Oh. Mmm, that's good. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And you can watch my other one where I do a steak and baked potato, but aloha. Have a good one. Can you imagine the meals you could cook on this straight eight? Look at that. You could cook. Hot dogs, burgers, I mean, you could cook an entire feast for people on this thing. Not much of her left, though. But in her day, I bet you she cooked a mean meal.